Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. And today, as part of Free Tutorial Friday, we have one of our quick start guides. Yes, our quick start guide is just like a place for you to start if you have a new breed or your first dog, whatever it is, right? We know there's a lot of options out there, not an extensive list. Head over to Leading Edge Dog Show Academy for more information, more in depth courses, etc. All right, but as part of Free Tutorial Friday, if you go check that out, you don't have to remember what I'm about to say because there's gonna be a downloadable list for you in the Free Tutorial Friday course. Isn't that great? All right, so let's dive in. Quick start, not extensive, Welsh Springer. Let's hop to it. All right, so you have your Welsh Springer, you have it at home, where, where do we start? As always, you've seen me or heard me say this before, I like a tearless shampoo for the face. Happy Eyes is a great one, but any tearless shampoo will do, then you just don't need to worry about washing their face. Also, a lot of people kind of like are shy about washing their dog's faces because they're worried about soap in the eye. Obviously, you were still trying to not get the soap in the eye, but less worry. All right, for my puppies, I like something like Fair Advantage. It's one and done, shampoo and conditioner together, but really high quality stuff. Um, really great for puppies or if your uh, Welsh Springer doesn't have a lot of coat yet because you're not kind of like doing two things. It's not taking twice as long. Um, after that, my go-to shampoo um, is going to be Clean Start, especially for the jacket, right? So that entire top coat is going to be done in Clean Start. You can also use this over the entire dog. For all the featherings, etc., we are going to use Ice on Ice shampoo and we are going to use ice on ice conditioner. However, do not put any conditioner of any type in the top line, so in that jacket, right? Um, that's gonna help that coat lay down flat the way you like it if we are not using conditioner in the top coat. So I like clean start and then no other shampoo in the top coat. So that's kind of how I look after them, you know, day to day. Um, once, every, once they've had a bath, I'm gonna start drying them, right? So when I'm drying them, I'm making sure that I'm, you know, Welsh Springers, they have really delicate furnishings, right? So you wanna be sure that you are treating them in a delicate manner. You're not roughing them up with a towel, right? You're letting them um, air dry for like maybe 10 minutes and then you're gonna use a velocity dryer. I always like to start my velocity dryer on the top coat, right? So I do the top coat first with that velocity dryer and get it almost 100% dry, like really, really dry. Then I never use the velocity dryer on any part of the furnishings, right? That is really important. Never use it on any part of the furnishings because it's just going to whip that hair into little whip knots and then you're going to lose coat. So uh, once I have that top coat, you know, dry or 90% dry, I'm really gonna use a really good bristle brush. This is the Purple Nylon Ionic by Chris Christensen. I'm gonna use it with like a lot of pressure on that brush, really getting that jacket nice and tight to the body. And then I'm going to use a pin brush basically in all the furnishings, right? I'm gonna use my slicker brush with the bent pins on the leg coat, like the front of the legs, maybe a little bit of the belly, but everywhere else I'm using my pin brush with those nice straight pins. I am going to have a comb. Uh, this is the 000, so it's a Greyhound type comb, and it has like a wider end and a finer end, and I'm just checking all my work, checking those armpits to make sure that I don't have any tangles, etc., in them. Bada boom, bada bang, you need a good comb. All right, so that's kind of what I'm doing. That's kind of my maintenance routine, right? But now, you know, what if you wanna show your dog? So again, we, this is a quick start guide, but you're gonna need a stripping knife, right? I like like a classic type knife in coarse or medium. And this is what I use for raking out that jacket, right? Raking out the jacket of my Welsh Springer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go to Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and check out our courses on how to like do that technique, right? But we'll show you how to do it. So you need a coarse type knife. Um, and then I'm going to be using some kind of brushing spray. Here is Precious Drops. You can also use like any spray bottle of your choice. You could put some witch hazel and water in this for the jacket if you're trying to get the jacket to lay down. Um, you could spray this like anywhere you want it on the dog. These are great little bottles to have. 
Um, I'm probably going to chalk up the legs of my Welsh Springer for the show. So I'm gonna be using cholesterol and either a baby powder or some kind of white chalk. Um, you, you would apply the chalk with another soft bristle brush like this to pick up the chalk and put it in there. Again, even on YouTube, we have some tutorials on how to chalk your dog so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. You might need a little bit of makeup here, some white makeup for the face to do any little touch-ups. Um, you're gonna need a straight shear for trimming the bottoms of the feet and the edges of the feet. And then all the other trimming will either be done with a thinning shear. You will need for the show ring a pair of clippers. Um, a five-in-one trimmer type clipper is perfectly fine. You don't need a full clipper. You could use the Artemis clipper with a 10 blade or any kind of trimmer that you liked for doing the throat um, under, you know, the muzzle, etc. things like that. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at for the majority of equipment that you need. Um, a couple extras are the finishing touch, like kind of like magic in a can is shine for sure. Right before you go in the ring, you can spray down the top coat. It takes away any flyaways. You can spray some on your hand and wipe their faces to give that face that first impression kind of glow. And when we're all said and done and you're looking at your Wellspringer Spaniel one day and you're thinking, you know, maybe the coat's a little bit damaged or how could I grow more coat? That's really common for Welsh, right? Like Welsh don't want to carry a lot of heavy furnishings. We really love Pro Grow. Um, it's a leave-in conditioner. So you can use this different ways. Um, at the end of your maintenance bath, you can just like put some on the dog straight. So I like to put, you know, um, like a generous half a golf ball amount in my hands and kind of wipe it through and wipe it through the furnishings wherever I need them. You can mix it in a spray bottle and spray it on damp coat or mix it in a spray bottle with hot water and spray it on dry coat. So lots of different ways you can use this. This is really great for just getting some extra conditioning properties into those furnishings, right? So we're Ever you need this super easy to apply. So you can see that you're gonna need a lot of products, right? You, you probably thought, oh, I'm gonna show my Welsh Springer and it's, you know, it's gonna be easy, right? But there are a lot of things, right? You need to teach, you need to treat the top coat, right? The jacket differently. So no conditioner and like a really good clarifying shampoo and a bristle brush. Then you do the furnishings where you are using a shampoo and conditioner and you're using a pin brush with those straight pins, right? So there's lots of things going on, lots of things that you need. Um, I hope that this helped you get started, but remember you can head on over to Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. We have lots of stuff there to kind of like dial your game in, like figure it out. So um, I hope that you found this quick start guide informative. If uh, your breed hasn't been mentioned yet in any of our quick start guides and you would like a quick start guide for your breed, I would just ask you pop your breed in the comments below and we will see what we can get done for you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought, and as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications, that way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.